No spring nor summer beauty hath such grace as I have seen in one autumnal face. Autumn is a special season in Arizona. From the golden aspens of the North Country to the flowering cacti of the desert, the whole state seems awash with color. So on this November day, the Wildlife Guide is leading us to the Fall Color Festival at Boyce Thompson Arboretum near Superior. Well, Boyce Thompson Arboretum is just one of the most beautiful places in Arizona. Uh, my wife and I were members of the Arboretum for years before I got on staff. It's right near the town of Superior, which is about one hour drive due east of Phoenix, or about two hours from Tucson. And fall is just one of the most glorious times of year out here. We have fall color, uh, fall color that rivals New England, quite frankly. And we have a wonderful event on Thanksgiving weekend. We do live music and we also have fall color. We have painters that are painting it and photographers who are capturing it out on the trails. the oldest botanical garden in Arizona, and it's also the largest. Developed along Queen Creek Canyon, its 320 acres and two miles of trails wind through a wide variety of landscapes and gardens. We were founded back in the 1920s by a visionary man named uh, William Boyce Thompson, who had the honorary title of Colonel through some work he did with the Red Cross. He founded this arboretum to get people to to appreciate the importance of desert plants and desert ecosystems. This was in an era when people thought of deserts as wastelands. And Colonel Thompson really helped uh, and, and founded the Arboretum in order to get people to understand that people depend so much upon desert plants in so many continents all around the world. So the Arboretum has evolved to showcase plants from desert ecosystems all around the world. We have Mediterranean desert plants, South African, Australian, South American, and uh, East Asian all in different collections. So you really have a chance to get to know the world's ecosystems, the world's arid land ecosystems, on a two-hour walk around our trails. At one end of the canyon sits Picket Post House. It was the winter home of Colonel Thompson during the time he lived at his beloved garden. It's 7,000 square feet, and it's just a stunning structure perched up on a hill overlooking Queen Creek. After he died, shortly after 1930, Picket Post House was bought and it's been in private ownership ever since. Just this past year, the state reacquired it. It's now part of the, uh, the state again. And um, ideally, Arizona State Parks will be reopening it sometime in the next few years, probably for tours and for the public to enjoy. The Arboretum is not just a single garden, but a wide variety of smaller gardens, grouped by theme or species, which give visitors plenty of beauty and wildlife to enjoy. Just that there's so much to do, so many things to see. Um, no matter what you, if, if you like nature, you will love it here. Um, there are things to discover, there's new things to learn. Um, when I came here, I didn't know anything about the local insects, the butterflies, the, the reptiles, the, anything like that. And uh, they have people that lead tours and tell you all about it. And that's what I like. I also like the solitude, walking out here by myself, enjoying nature, getting away from it all. Yeah. <laughs> What's wonderful about the Arboretum is all four seasons there's something happening and something beautiful to see. In the fall we have uh, wildlife, we have lots of watchable wildlife during the months of September, October, November. As we get into late fall and early winter there's autumn color with the pistachio trees uh, which turn just beautiful shades of red and gold and pumpkin orange. If you come out here in the winter, there's winter color. If you come out here in the spring, you'll begin to see the wildflowers. And during summer, we have the cactus blossoms. There's always something. While walking the trails, everybody seems to pause in awe of Mr. Big. This immense red gum eucalyptus earned its name by growing to eight feet in diameter and over 100 feet in height. It was planted as a sapling in 1926. And this is a great place for watchable wildlife. 
We do bird walks throughout the year. We have them in the fall and the spring, guided bird walks, which are led by some of the state's experts. We're very lucky to have volunteers, uh, people such as Troy Corman, who's with the Arizona Game and Fish Department, who guides some of our tours and one, is, is, is one of the state's acknowledged experts in birds. Here's a chance for you to walk the trails with an expert like Troy and learn about uh, different birds that are here during different seasons, learn to identify them by their calls or by their field marks. During the summer, we have a tour series called Learn Your Lizards, which is a lot of fun. If you got kids in particular, it's a blast to go walk in the trails and finding lizards and learning which ones we have and about some of their habits. Not surprisingly, the garden is a virtual feast for photographers. That's probably my favorite thing to do with photography is outdoor photography and this is just, like I said, a convenient spot to come and there's a wide diversity and um, quite a few experts that you can pick their brains and learn what you're looking at. The area is so attractive to wildlife that the staff was pleasantly surprised to see several wild turkeys wandering the garden this fall. The birds would show up late in the afternoon and one of the groundskeepers was able to get I'm into wildlife. I've become a birder over the years, and I love seeing the different birds, the unusual migrants, and then the, uh, just the, the beautiful year-round birds that we have. Um, and I've learned so much. I've learned to identify butterflies uh, from our education director and from some of our volunteers that are specialists in butterflies. I've learned to identify dragonflies. I've learned about plants and about lizards and so many other things. It's just a really exciting place to go and a nice place to be at peace walking the trails and enjoying the gardens.